seven two similar polygons. Number one, RLZD is similar to VCJY. Complete the statement below. Angle L is congruent to. All right. So in similar polygons, angles that are corresponding are congruent to each other. So angle L will be congruent to angle C. So that's number one. To number three. List the pairs of congruent angles and the extended proportion that relates to corresponding sides for the similar triangles. So angle K goes with angle N. Angle L goes with angle O. And angle M goes with angle P. Now it says to write the extended proportion that relates to corresponding sides for the similar triangle. So NO goes with KL. NP goes with KM. And OP goes with LM. And that's number three. Number four, determine whether the polygons to the right are similar. If so, write a similarity statement and give the scale factor. If not, explain. So we're going to write the pairs of corresponding sides as fractions, and then simplify those fractions to get the proportions for them. So QP over VT, we have 15 over 5, which gives you 3 over 1. PR over TW, 36 over 12, also gives you 3, 1. And QR over VW equals 39 over 13, which also reduces to 3 over 1. Since they're all the same, they are similar triangles. Now we have to choose to one of these where the angles correspond with each other, like P goes with T, Q goes with V, and R goes with W. So that tells me it's going to be A, and the scale factor, which is that proportion we got, is 3 over 1. And that's number 4. Number 6. The polygons to the right are similar. Find the value of each variable. So let's take a look at it. So I'm going to solve for y first. So I'm going to set up proportions. I'm going to do y from this triangle over top of 24, the length of that one, equal to 17 from the small triangle over top of 51. Now I'm going to cross multiply and solve. Y times 51 is 51Y. 24 times 17 is 408. Divide both sides by 51. I get Y equals 8. Okay, now I'm going to find X. I'm going to use this piece, that X, over 45, and set that equal to 17 over 51. And then I'm going to cross multiply. So 51 times X is 51X equals 45 times 17, which is 765. Divide both sides by 51. Now get x equals 15. So let's type that in. So x equals 15, and y is 8. And that's number 6. Number 7. The figures shown are similar. Find the lengths of x, y, and z. Solving for x first, I'm going to write x over 35 equals 12 over 24. I'm using 12 over 24 because I need a pair of sides where both numbers are given. So this proportion, x over 35 equals 12 over 24. Now I do x times 24, which is 24x, and 35 times 12 is 420. Divide both sides by 24, and x equals 17.5. Now let's solve for y. y over 35 equals 12 over 24. Cross multiply, 24y equals 48 times 12, which is 576. Divide both sides by 24, and y equals 24. Now finding z, I have z over 35 equals 12 over 24. Cross multiply, 24z equals 420. Divide both sides by 24, and x equals 17.5. Now let's type those in. So x is 17.5. 
y is 24, and z is 17.5. And that's number seven. Number eight, the space allowed for the mascot on the school's webpage is 150 pixels wide by 120 pixels high. Its digital image is 500 pixels wide by 400 pixels high. What is the largest image of the mascot that will fit on the web page? So I'm going to find the scale factor by setting up fractions from width to width and height to height. So 500 over 150 reduces down to 10 over 3. 400 over 120 gives you 10 over 3. Since both of these are the same, that means the largest image the mascot that can fit on the web page is the 150 by 120. So let's type that in. So typing that in, 150 and 120. And that's number 8. Number 10. Two triangles are similar. The scale factor of the first one to the second is 1 to 2. What will be the scale factor going from the second to the first? You just flip the ratio around. Instead of 1 to 2, you'll have 2 to 1. And that's number 10.